Oh, it's hot. Oh, it burned my nostrils. Feeding time. Yo, welcome to feeding time. I'm the big guy, Rye back. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go to the gym, and I'm, uh, I've got my face shield here so I can breathe. Cause you gotta wear the mask at all times. I've talked about that. I also do have a face mask, but this has stains all over it. I don't know what, I don't know what those are. I think it's coffee stained. The coffee spilled. I got my coffee here too. Uh, do shoulders though, get to the gym and uh, do more Stairmaster. Um, feeling good though, today we're doing a mukbang and uh, I'm, I'm pumped up for this mukbang. Uh, I'm at the Garden Grill again. I think I did the steak. I don't remember I did steak or chicken, but I'm doing the quesadilla again. It was, it, that. I think the last one blew my balls off. But the real star of the show, the mukbang, today are the buffalo chicken strips. Look at those. There's six of them. Just look at those. Look at those. They look, they look so good. I wish I didn't, I didn't get ranch. They gave me napkins. So they gave me buffalo sauce to dip them in. So they're going to be extra, extra buffalo-y uh, for this food video. But I'm going to start with the quesadilla. No, wait, we got to start with the buffalo strips. So they're still hot. Because the quesadilla, we already know, is going to blow my balls off. So let's see if the chicken strips are going to blow them off first. Where are they going to end up on this video? Put that in the bag. Get that buffalo sauce. We don't want to spill that. Uh, I'm just going to dive in and get me some. I'm listening to the Young Bucks book. I actually got it on Audible. I listen to books like on, on a really fast speed like a speed reader and uh i slowly just go up over time it's a good book so far the i didn't know a lot about them I actually didn't really know anything about them and uh so i always like learning i like listening to wrestling books so uh still got a long ways to go in it though so far so good though all right oh it's hot oh it burned my nostrils I'm trying not to cuss. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, man. Woo, woo. Was it? I'm looking at this, the texture and everything. Let's just take a bite without the dipping it. Oh my God. It tastes like chicken strips. This place is fully vegan, though, so there's no way they messed up. Just dip it in the buffalo sauce. Oh, my God. There's no way this stuff should be this good. Hold on. Oh. This might be my favorite thing ever. I wish I had some vegan ranch. You guys, look at these. Oh, is that a homeless woman? Oh. There's a poor woman on the corner here. <clears throat> Hold on. Give her a 20. Ma'am, here. I'll give her 20 bucks. I have 20 on me. Good deeds. Pass it on. So here you go, ma'am. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Thank you. You're so welcome. Have a good day. It's always good to keep cash on you. She was packing up and I just, I didn't even, I parked in the shade over here. 
I usually don't like filming stuff like that because I think it's a real, some people do it and they're not, it's not good, but that was, uh, there's a lot of people that are scammers out there, but you know, you could just tell sometimes that was one of those situations you could just tell. Oh God, now here's somebody else today. I'm handing out money over here. Damn it. But we're living in crazy times. She's elderly, but she's not. You know. She's going over, actually looks like to go buy food right now. So there's fast food, Taco Bell, and a gas station. If she goes and buys a 40. Oh wait, did she just drop all her money? No. Lady. Wait a second, what? Did she? This is insane. She's picking, money all came out of her purse and the wind is blowing. She's got, she's got a lot of it back up. Don't run her over. Car just came speeding. God. Okay, she got a lot. I'm not even joking. That is crazy. I hope she didn't lose it. Oh, good. Someone's helping her. Get the. <clears throat> I hope she didn't lose the 20 I just gave her. She didn't. She was. She was just running across the street. And it must have blew out of her bag. Oh, poor woman. Well, she's at least going to get something. What she buys with that is her business. You know what? People sometimes get out of there just going to go buy alcohol. Don't know their story. Maybe that's the one thing that makes them feel good during the day. You know, I get it. These are, man, these are so good. This garden grill here in Vegas, this place never ceases to amaze me. They're at the top of the list in vegan food. Ooh, they got some kick to them too. Ah, man. It's just crazy right now. Like there's a lot of empty shopping centers over here. And this is just right outside of Summerlin, which is it's borderline. It's actually the beginning of Summerlin, right in the it's on the outskirts of it. But there's places shut down everywhere, and then meanwhile, like all these other businesses are open, people are everywhere. It's just crazy. Oh. Ooh. Man, those were hot. Oh. All right, quesadilla time. Let's blow the balls off for more. <clears throat> oh, man, I almost wish I would. I almost got two orders of those, but I was like, I don't want all the breading. This is my, my big carb meal of the day. And then after this, it's there's there's not very many. Did they give me steak? Or did I got a steak quesadilla? 
Or is that chicken? How do I not even know what I'm eating? No, maybe it is chicken. I just, no, it is chicken. Oh, this is good. Oh. Whoa, man, oh man. I'm gonna have a good workout today. Thank you guys for the channel. We're really growing. It's weird though. The video is still... There's a lot of weird stuff going on. My accounts have been... Are not good on social media. I have very, very low engagement. So it's very frustrating. I've talked about it. And I know why it's happened. Um, and it's happened on here a lot too. What they do essentially is they only show my stuff to only a section of, of even the people that watch me even on top of their normal engagement rates which are low for like Instagram and Facebook different things Twitter only a portion of the portion is even seeing when I ever do anything and it, it's all connected to and talked about with what's going on and, and legally which is illegal what they're doing but it, it's the platforms can control whatever they want right so, but if you guys could please keep notifications on, I do videos pretty much every day. If you could keep checking in and, uh, cause it greatly helps and, uh, we're going to win and it's, it's, we're already off to a really good start with the Ryback trademark. They are, they are looking very foolish and it, it's actually, it's nothing, no, nothing surprising to me, but it's. They they are they're getting if this was a boxing match, I'm I'm Jake Paul right now and they're Nate Robinson. That's 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 how they're looking in this so far. Just to give you kind of a analogy of where we're at. Which by the way, I ordered that fight. I heard they did one point two million buys. Forty nine ninety nine a pop, that's just under 59, just under 60 million. Incredible. Just an exhibition. It was exactly as advertised. I thought they were going to go at it. What they did, though, was brilliant. And Tyson, they both, Tyson definitely held back. There were multiple times could have done that. He didn't go for the kill. And, uh, But man, I would love to see Mike Buck. You imagine, just imagine. Regardless of, of what you think, Mike Tyson versus the Gypsy King. Take my money. That real life Rocky Balboa. Can you imagine that? Somebody has to have got like that's. I would pay to see it. Give Mike ample time to get ready. Wait till there's a full crowd back. Possibly the greatest buy rate of all time. If you do that right, man, let Gypsy King, he loves wrestling. Let him play the heel. Regardless, take my money. I had a good time, man. I love when I get order those fights and just have a good time. I'm just thankful for the entertainment, you know? People, like, I don't criticize anything. It, it, it's just some fights are better than others, you know? But it's a good time. That Nate guy, though. Man. That's a rough way to go. Tip your cap to him, though. He got in there. I'll never talk, I'll never talk crap about the performance. No, no fan, nobody ever should. 
you ain't getting in there. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. This was a good lunch today. This is a good lunch. <laughs> mm. 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 Somebody's looking at me next to you. Well, that's the doctor I go to. I didn't even realize. I called him. I'm probably doing it after this video. I got to make an appointment for more blood work to get it and then go in there and then take the lab, go get the labs done within three months. Oh, the cheese they use on this. This is a good case of deal. Wow. Oh, what a lunch. Lady's been inside the gas station. I hope she's not gambling. They have video poker in there. Oh, that will... Oh, that'll chat my ass a little bit. I'd rather just come out with 30, a 30 pack. Like I said, that's understand that, but not the gambling, which is a thing in Vegas. I, I saw it as a kid. I've never, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to, guys, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to gamble. I could play a little blackjack, but I never got into it. The, the extent of it was, I think I won like 60 bucks at blackjack when I was younger at the Suncoast. And then uh, I played, me and Ziggler came into town. We, I think we just played a few hundred bucks. We lost it pretty quickly. We were pretty smashed. And, uh, and that was that, just left it at that. Don't keep playing, just it was like, we win, we win, we lose, we lose. And then I would routinely, when on on flights, when I was wrestling, would uh, put a five, ten, or twenty in the wheel of fortune, and oftentimes win a hundred, two hundred bucks. I love that game because it's so simple, and that would be my food money on the road for cash. I would just use that until it was out to be gone pretty quick. But all right, enough story time with the big guy. Done. I gotta remind you guys, I, I remember that Papa John's video. I was gonna tell you guys about the time me and Big Show almost got in a fight. I'll have to tell you guys on another video. <laughs> it's a pretty good story, actually. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and. Should we tell it now? Let me do the. Let's. Hold on. Let me give you the review of the food first. So, the. the, the those chicken fingers. Those tasted just like legit real chicken fingers. The texture, everything. That, I wish I had a good ranch to dip that in right there. Even a blue cheese. Um, they didn't have that on the sauce option. So hopefully the garden grill will add a ranch and I'll, or I'll ask. They have to have it for salads. So I'm giving you guys 9.9 .9 out of 10 on those. Quesadilla, that chicken quesadilla. I think I reviewed that already on here and so i'm not going to give that a, a a review it was it was amazing it, the, the stuff i can't be they blew my balls off but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i can't be let my balls get blown off every video but this is because that garden grills expectations like they're, they're high already for me they, they deliver and um absolutely delicious that was an enjoyable enjoyable meal okay quick story the big guy before we wrap up so I'm IC champion. Uh, the contract stuff's already going on. I'm not happy. Um, but I show up this weekend, and I got paired with, with Big Show quite a bit, which I love wrestling uh, Big Show, especially singles. I, I'm not a fan of triple threat matches, just for the fact, once you're out, they're fun as far as when you get going, but you have to plan them out. Um, I will, way more than you do a singles match. So anyways, I got a giant that I got to wrestle in the Miz. This is during our program, the beginning of it. We get there, and the first night, Big Show, I love Big Show. I don't think Big Show's the biggest fan of the Miz. I think he respects him now, but like, I don't think he, this was a time, it was, 
not my, not my, I'm not involved in it, but, but we're doing a triple threat together. So ideally you want to get together and have a little conversation, especially as being the champion, we're doing the opening match to get the crowd going. <laughs> Big Show doesn't want to go over the match. It just, we have the finish, whatever it was. It was me up. I was the champ. And, uh, and I think it might probably was on Miz somehow, but we have a giant in the match and the giant doesn't want to talk to Miz for whatever he, 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 he gets hot and cold with Miz and this is not, and, I, and he like, this is all fun. Right. But, but so <coughs> I'm pissed because this, we have a giant in the match. There's only so many things you could do to a giant and it's a live event. So the, the big show on a live event isn't bumping like a big show on a pay-per-view or TV, okay? And rightfully so. He pretty knows how to protect his body, but it makes it, he's a giant. So you, it's a very difficult, in which I am a power wrestler, a hybrid power wrestler, <laughs> and I got enough stuff <clears throat> where you don't have to, but a lot of my big pops come from the big power stuff. So it's, anyways, we go out there the first night. We do the entire, the entire match triple threat on the fly way better than it should have been way better and we all busted our asses and it, it was a good time but it was stressful and we get to the back and, and big show i think then felt a little bad that we didn't talk about anything and so in, in big show and he's always he goes you guys like i'll get uh be there earlier tomorrow we could talk and go over some stuff and get some good spots we could do some really good things and i go i know we can it's what everyone else on this on the show's planning out all this stuff and like you know singles i'm all for going out there and like but when you got triple threat you gotta you gotta you know so the next night i get to the arena we're opening match and uh miz is there me and miz are we're like where's big show big show's not there text him don't hear from him producers uh, people are, no one's heard from him. His bus, he's on, has his bus out there though. So then like, so we're getting, showtime is right around the corner. We're, I will, I would say we have about 30 minutes maybe until, until the, the, like we're on and in get ready to go. Big show's nowhere to be found. Now the it's, is big show. Okay. Now I'm whole, everyone's like, Oh no, the, Two producers, I think it was Noble and, and Joey Mercury, go on Big Show's bus. It was a Sunday show, and it was an early start time. It was like a four thirty or five thirty start time. Normally, it was like a seven or seven thirty start time on these on these live events. But it was a, it was moved up. <laughs> Big Show didn't know that, or it forgot. So they go on his bus, thinking maybe something's wrong, and he was asleep. So. I'm pissed now because now I feel disrespected as a champion. And this was a moment in my, nobody knew at the time what was going on with my contract, but there it was, it was a period where had I signed the contract, this would have gone a much different direction, which was still very much a possibility at the time. And every match, I, I always put a lot, I put everything into a live event was WrestleMania for me. I didn't, that's just how I go. I just go all the way, all the time. And uh, so Big Show, he, he, he comes out and uh, he comes walking over. I think we have like, there's less than 15, 15, 12 minutes, something. We're right around the corner. And I think they actually bumped our match maybe from first to second or third or something just to give us a little time. Um, because they didn't know about Big Show. I lose it. I go off on them. But people are around. F bombs said some some pretty mean things. And nothing like, but you know, it, it's. And I have nothing but love and respect, and we get along very well. And this is, uh, and I will say, Big Show is a very large human being. He's a giant. And uh, when I commit, I commit, though. And I knew what I was, I know, and, and I, I'm very confident in myself in, in, in situations like that. But he balled up that fist. <laughs> Nobody 
wanted to get around this because this was going to be, and I knew because I knew enough about Big Show that I knew when he balled up that fist that he was thinking of throwing, and I just stayed on, like just we go and go and go and and, uh, and jaw jacking, and then finally. Joey Mercury, I think, was the one that had enough balls to uh, calm the situation down. And, uh, but it was close. Like, it was, it was really close to going down. And uh, neither of, nobody wanted that. No, nobody wanted that. Nobody. And I, I was just, it went from a range of emotions of, I hope he's not dead, to this mother effer. And, uh, man but me and Big Show we went out there and with Miz and we had a hell of a triple threat way better than the first night we cooled down we were professionals we went out there we worked and uh, he sent me a very nice message after which I and I sent him a very nice message we both apologized as professionals as men and uh, but uh, that's just how I'm very I'll say what I think on a situation, especially, um, and, and I wasn't wrong and that, but I will say, and I have a lot of love and respect for the big show. And, and there's a very real possibility. You do not want him to connect with you. He has to connect first though, but you don't want him to connect with you. And that, and it, it, I mean, the guy's a giant. There's, you don't have to be skilled. You don't have, he's a very powerful, larger than life human being, but I'm also the big guy and I don't back down from shit. <laughs> ah, there's the story. I finally told it. I think I told it on. Somebody rang and inter interrupted my story, but at the end of it. So there's the big show story, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, nothing but love and respect. And uh, he's a man. He's one of my, he's the greatest giant of all time. I don't care what anyone says. He's the great. Most people, I think, would agree with that. I know Andre's Andre. But I think I think Big Show's the greatest giant of all time, and it, you know, nothing but uh, it was an honor to be able to, to to be in the ring, especially towards the end of his career, uh, you know. And hopefully, I'm going back and going to have my prime years to go still. Um, but he's uh, man, he's uh, he's the Big Show. So there we have it, guys. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Feed me more nutrition on feedmemore.com and Amazon. If you could check it out, please. Uh, we got the shirts on Teespring. We got, uh, yeah, all the stuff's here, guys. You can check it out. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.